Welcome to the final question of the grade 12 computer application technology prac exam from November 2023. We've done a video series where you can look in the video description for the links to the other questions. But we have the final question now. If you need the data files, make sure you go to the link in the video description so you can practice beforehand. Let's get on with this question so we can finish this exam paper. Now the final question tends to be an integrated type of question where you're using a lot of the packages sometimes together. So let's have a look at what we've got in store here for this question. So they've asked us to open the seven new word processing document, which I've done already over here. And they say that the shuttle company is upgrading their logo. We must use word art and images in the file to create a new logo that looks like that. So that's what we want the logo to look like. So let's go look at what we've got. So they've given us the images. So we're going to move them around a bit. So let's click on this one first of all and move it a bit. Uh, and move it a bit up then they want the, the shuttle below it and then the word shuttles underneath it even further so we're going to click on this and put this a little bit underneath so now it's struggling to move so that could be because the top of the image is not an appropriate top so i'm going to come over here to wrap text i'm going to make it tight by making it tight it means i can actually have a lot more control about how i move this particular image and then this text over here we're going to put shuttles and we're going to put that underneath so let's look at what they want. So they want it and they want N time. That forms the O of on time. And it uses the same text and size as those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it as a new one. And I'm going to put on this one, I'm going to put N time. Just make sure that we keep that to a small N. And then we can move this over here. So we can move it up a little bit more. That's a bit better. Maybe move the image a bit over there and move the shuttles to be a bit over there. I don't mention anything about the size in they just want it to look something that looks like that's close enough i'm happy that we'll get the marks for that so i'm happy that our logo is done but they ask us the final logo should be one image that means we need to group everything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select objects and i'm going to drag over everything to select all of those objects you see they're all selected and then i'm going to right click on them and i'm going to group them so that it's one image so there we go it's one big image and then we must save this as a seven new logo every time you make a new file make sure that you save it in your exam folder so we're going to right click on this and save it as a picture so make sure you go to your exam folder make sure you save everything in there because that's the file that they're going to extract and they want to save it as seven new logo so let's call it seven new logo and save it so if i scroll down to the bottom you can see that the new logo has just appeared so it is working now we must move on to the seven booking spreadsheet so we can now save this and close this and now we are in seven bookings let's see what they want us to do First of all, shuttle drivers need to be notified one and a half hours before the client's departure time. Insert a function in D8 to calculate the time a driver should be notified. So we're going to come over here to D8. So there we go. There's D8. That needs to be, as I said, needs to be one and a half hours before the departure time. There we can see the departure time. You can see that it's one and a half hours before. So how do we do that? So we're going to take that time and then we need to minus one and a half hours, which means we need to minus one hour and 30 minutes. How do we minus two different times? Well, we're going to use the time function, which allows us to put a time in and we want one hour. So I'll put a one, then I'm going to put a comma, then I'm going to do 30 minutes, comma, and then a zero for seconds. And so we're going to take the current time of departure and minus one hour and 30 minutes. And if we press enter, that should be 1255, which is correct. And if we drag that down, you should see that these formulas should not change at all. Those values did not change. Therefore, we know that we got the formula correct. That's normally how I test it. If I drag it down and those values don't change, then we got it correct. 7.2.2 insert a formula in column g to calculate the number of days between departure and return dates for all clients so in column g we want to find out the number of days between these two dates now if you remember from your date functions and my date videos that if you subtract two dates it'll always give you the answer in days which is what we want we want the number of days so which would be the biggest date the departure date or the return the return date would always be the latest date but therefore the biggest date so we're going to take the return date and we're going to subtract the departure date and by doing that we will now get an answer which is not what we want because that's in the format of a date so if we change this to a number format we can see that it is six days that makes sense if you think about the 8th to the 14th that would have been six days and then we must make sure that they said they want it in column g so they say not just for that block they want it for all of these blocks so we're going to drag it all the way down and there you can see so if we look at this one for example they arrival and departure 
parts on the same day, so that's zero days. But here we can see there is four days and so on. So I think that is correct. So as I said, whenever you subtract two dates, it'll give you the answer in days. So you always take the bigger date or the latest date minus the earlier date. And then the final question, 7.2.3, edit the worksheet as follows. Change the settings to make sure that when the entire worksheet is printed, the information in A to G will appear on the first page. So let's go look at what it looks like when we want to print this. And for that, we can come here to the page break preview. And so there you can see that columns A to G will not be on the first page. So we can see that there are two pages. So if we drag this to there, we should be able to fit a to G on the first page. So there we go. A to G is on the first page. The rest is on the second page. I'm happy with that. So A to G is on the first page and edit the print options to include row and column headings. So if we come here to page layout and we come to page setup, if I click on that little pop up dialog to get the printing options so that they've adjusted it, we want to make sure that the cell headings is always displayed. That's got to do with the sheet. If I come here, you see the row and column headings, they must always be visible. So we're going to click on that to make sure that they are always visible. So we click OK. And now you'll notice, unfortunately, that it's adjusted my changes. So I'm actually going to drag that back. So make sure that if you make any changes to the printing, that you just double check that it didn't undo anything you did previously. So if we come here to print preview, there you can see A to G is clearly there. We can see the headings and the row numbers. And if we go to the next page, there's no A to G on that part. So there we go. I think that is all done. And make sure that we save. And that is the last question. I think we've done. We've done everything. So there we go. There's all the questions done. Finish this exam paper well done grade 12s if you've done the whole paper well done if you need another question paper to go through then make sure you go to our playlist tab on youtube so you can find other exam papers there as well as subscribe to our channel so you can see whenever we post a new paper to go through and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way